Hi Birdie, I'm Kristen Shaw, welcome to my cabin. I'm here with Anina and I'm gonna show you how to get this look. So I actually shampooed her first. Normally we do some little bit of products, let your hair air dry. We're gonna just do a tousle dry. Okay, so once you've tousle dried your hair with the dry shampoo, just like you did with your rough dry, you're gonna wanna put your fingers in your hair and pull it up. Spray all over your roots, of course, which is what everyone thinks they should do with dry shampoo. But then I want you to put it all over your ends. This is gonna help get you volume and texture all over. I like the size of the bottle too. I travel a lot and this is totally. a good, good one too. Bring four anywhere. ounces. Yeah, perfect. Now we're gonna do minimal curling, but I think the curling is essential so that we can get the waves that we want. With your hair texture and your length, I'm gonna use a small half inch curling iron. So you take this and you curl away from the face. So a lot of times when you're actually doing these waves, you leave the end out, but something a little bit different than what the trends have been lately is that I like to actually take it in the curling iron clamp and just lightly bend it under. And that's so it just gives a little bit more of a polished feel. I think three sections is usually pretty good. If you have really, really thick hair, you might wanna take Mm -hmm. but I really think you know usually three is just enough yeah you leave a, you leave hair in between so you go one here one free one curled for this last one I know we already put dry shampoo in but I'm gonna put a little bit more in especially now that we've parted it where we want it to be I'm just gonna spritz a little bit on your root and use my fingers to get in there so what we're gonna do for your top layer is whereas the bottom two, we actually didn't use the comb at all, but for the top one, we're gonna comb it out. How long would it take to do this at home? Because you're going every other strand, which is why I love this, because mm -hmm. it speeds it up, yeah. it's usually about five to 10 minutes. Perfect. I know, it's like That's exactly <laughs> what I need in my life. Exactly, <laughs> the five minute rule. Five minute rule, yes please, I'll take it. Now, if your hair is thicker, you're gonna to wanna to take smaller sections so you actually get the wave. For hers, I wanna actually take two inch section. So, now we've finished curling your whole head and we're gonna shake you out. So we're gonna comb through from front to back. Comb everything away from your face. Okay, so now we've combed through everything and we have soft waves. And what I'm gonna do is use a little bit of the dry shampoo again. We're gonna spritz only on the ends. So once you put that last bit of dry shampoo in, you're gonna take your comb, take your little front sections, and you're gonna comb it towards the front of your head, and you're gonna let it go. Depending on your preference, you can either let your waves be really soft and brushed out, or you can add in a little bit of our sea salt spray. Again, use your hands, put them up by your root, spritz, shake, and you can pick and choose the spots where you want it to be a little bit piecier. All right, that's how we get the ultimate Playa Fall look. If you have any questions, hit them up in the comment section. Can you just move in with me and do my hair every day? Sure, <laughs> happy to. <laughs>